hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm camille and i know you know for sure you're going to be getting a cute hairstyle video today so we're starting off with freshly washed hair i actually blow dried my hair because i want i wanted it to have a kind of straight feel and not only that because my hair needs to be relaxed or want to be relaxed it kind of hard to comb through so it was easier blow drying it so whenever I'm actually braiding my hair, I really love to make sure that I have everything sectioned off first because I don't like to be braiding and going back to part again and then braiding it. I don't like that. I prefer to have everything sectioned off, neatly part, and then I could just go through with my braiding. So as I just mentioned, my hair has not been relaxed for some time now, so I'll definitely need to use the edge control around the perimeter of each parting just to make sure that it's neat and that it actually stays in place. Yes, and today guys, I will be doing the rubber band method, hence the reason I want to section off all my hair before actually starting. So yes guys, in the back of my head, it's actually like box, the partings are in boxes, but when I got to the top, I just decided to switch it up and just part wherever I could see. I didn't do it like this in the back because box, parting box braids would have been easier for the back. But uh, as you can see, what I'm actually doing now is putting the edge control right around the hair or the parting itself and just combing it through so that it will look a bit straightened. So once I put the elastic around it, it will be more secure. And for the back ones, in the back of my hair is not really all that thick. So I was able to use one rubber band. But once I got to the middle and the top, I started to use two just to make sure that the hair would stay in place. All right guys, so this is the hair that I'll be using. It's Springy Bohemian Twist and I just got it in my local beauty supply store. And the moment I saw this hair, I was just in love. It's really beautiful. It's really springy as it says. And I use like three packs. So I showed you two. I actually had three, two uh, black ones and then the colored one, which I put uh, like around not, it wasn't, I didn't use a lot of that one. I just put a few here and there. Yeah, so guys, I actually wanted the hair to have a type of goddess look like, hence the reason I'm doing this. So I didn't make the two, I'm using two pieces of hair and I didn't make them the same length. I actually made one really longer than the others. So because I made it longer, it's going to be a case where once I get to the bottom of the twist, that part will remain untwisted. So it's just going to look like that, how the hair actually came. Great guys, so yes, I'll be doing the crochet method today and once I get the uh, loop there, I'll just pull one section 
of the hair through make a knot and just tighten it so that it will be firm So based on the fact that my hair is relaxed, right, I am using the edge control to basically put on all my hair throughout the twist so that it stays in place because I don't want it sticking out while my while I actually let go the twist and it bounces back up. So this is why I'm using the edge control on all of my relaxed hair throughout the top part of the twist. So this is the end result guys and I'm really really loving it like <laughs> honestly it came out really good I love how it looks and you can leave a comment down below let me know what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more content that I post thanks for watching that's all folks